Hello everybody, thank you for listening and watching this video. I appreciate it. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a natural intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader, and I am here to do um, some predictions for the rest of 2017, some world predictions for 2017, the rest of 2017. We're currently in May, and I might do this at the beginning of the year, but you know, better late than never. <laughs> And uh, in this reading, I'll be using the Smith Weight Tarot Deck, the Centennial Edition uh, Tarot Deck in a Tin. The link will be below where you can purchase this from my Amazon affiliate store. And you can also contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading or your own 30 minute birth chart reading. Uh, for the birth chart reading, I will need to know at least the month, the day, and the year that you were born. But if you would like a very accurate, um, detailed birth chart reading, I will also need to know the time and the place you were born as well. Um, as always, please email me all necessary information, um, or if you have any questions, um... Email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com and you can purchase your own personal reading. I think that there's a choice between 30 minutes for $30. Uh, I charge $1 per minute. 45 minutes for $45 uh, and it goes up until I think 180 minutes for $180. So, uh, contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com for your own personal reading. Per uh, Visit my website, lamartownsandtarot.com, to purchase your own personal reading, and thank you for listening and watching this video. Let's get started. Hey, YouTube family and Psychic Universe. Thank you guys for listening and watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope this reading reaches you all in wonderful spirits, okay? Let's look at what is going on in the... Or what will be going on in the world for the rest of 2017? What's going on? What's coming up for the world? What types of things can we expect? Ooh, the cards really want to <laughs> be messy today, I see. Um, what's coming up for 2017? Please, Spirit, show me what's coming up for 2017. Very messy, very slippery today. Seems out of control. <laughs> A little out of control. Things slipping out. Some say I am a messy <laughs> shuffler, and I would agree. But it's not always how you shuffle, it's the message that comes through, I think. By the way, I shuffle with my eyes closed as well, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> but as I say, it's the messages that come through. What's coming up for the world? World predictions for 2017. We're currently in May. And I meant to do this at the beginning of the year, but you know, better late than never. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to do a few more shuffles, I think, actually. I'm a weird shuffler, you guys. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just want to make sure we get an as accurate reading as possible. And yeah. Let's do a few more shovels. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Please follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. Subscribe, 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 you guys, okay? Um, 
and follow me on Google Plus as well. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to just make sure really quickly that we are still centered and focused. All right. So we're getting cut off a little bit at the top here. So I'm going to pull these down just a smidgen. <laughs> and hope that helps. Much better. Alright, cool. The card at the bottom of the deck is the Devil. The Devil card is usually associated with the Zodiac sign Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Um, Saturn is all about hard work, work, work ethic, karma, past karma, debt, past debt as well. The devil also deals with fears. Um, uh, the dark side, the shadow side of a person or an entity. Let's see what's in the past. The fool. Two of Swords in the present. Moving forward. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities. The Pentacle cards are always associated with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, so Earth energy. Um, a lot of Earth I'm seeing here. The Conclusion, Family. Huh. Interesting. I just wanted to make sure we were still filming. Sometimes the camera cuts off. So what I'm picking up is something is going on with healthcare, you guys. Something is going on with healthcare. Something is going on in terms of money that's going to affect the family. The family and... and um, insurance, health care, um, something like that. It's going to trickle down in terms of class, meaning like working class, middle class, you know. So, so whatever this is, it's going to trickle down. Um, you know what, you guys, I feel like people are going to be leaving the country, leaving the United States. I feel like a lot of people are going to be leaving the United States <laughs> during this um, next few months, of, though, you know, during, during the rest of the period of 2017. Um, I feel like a lot of people, I'm seeing actually mostly more so than people being forced out. Um, I'm not really seeing that for the rest of this year. Um, more so am I seeing people, like, choosing to leave. Choosing to, to leave. Or people are, are just looking out to see what out, what's out there. What are my options in terms of leaving the country? Because I think a lot of stuff is going to happen um, under this presidency of Trump. Um... And it's not just affecting the United States, it's affecting the world. The Three of Wands, the Judgment card. Something is definitely going to go on, I think, with healthcare, you guys. And I feel like there are going to be riots. Riots happening. Um, something happens where... It, it, I feel like it's healthcare. Something in terms of health and medicine. Um, as well, as in, in terms of money. So it could be a cut or something like that. I feel like some budget cuts could be coming up. Um, that is going to cause a lot of people to get angry. You know, the fire, the wands are always fire. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But of course, fire, you know, um, is also can sometimes be, uh, you know, 
emotional um, anger or so, something like that. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be angry. That's especially when I'm getting with the judgment card. People almost crying out like, why? Like, you know. Um, the tower. Um, yeah, something is definitely going to happen with I think healthcare that oh but it's the tower in reverse I'm just now realizing so I feel like something's gonna happen with healthcare but it's going to <laughs> it's not gonna be good for the people who implement it meaning there there are going to be a lot of riots about whatever this situation um, is that is that is going to change in terms of money um, it could be taxes, something like that, something like taxes, health care, like they're going to be cuts or, or budget, something about budgets and budget cuts and something like that. The Six of Swords, I really feel like people are going to be leaving the United States, I feel like people are going to be leaving the country. Um... This is going to be an interesting period, you guys. A lot is going to be happening during this period where it almost feels like things are out of our control. Like, it almost may be like, you know, that family that you've known so long that's lived in your neighborhood for so long. Like, you know, they may suddenly be forced to, to move or, uh, like, leave the country. Or they may just, like decide to leave the country for their safety like and it's not just like <clears throat> it's not just minority families it's also people who are just tired of the, the, this kind of administration as well you know I feel like there are a lot of people Canada comes to mind so there might be a lot of Americans moving to Canada <laughs> a lot of people moving to Canada um I would not be surprised if we see actually a drop in um, tourists or like visitors from like uh, other countries to America during this time period. I feel like there's, uh, there's a lot in America that needs to be worked through in America. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot going on. But Knight of Wands, a lot of fire energy in this reading. Um, There's definitely a, a, a tug and a pull between the, the people and the governments, the people and the corporations. Um, it's almost like the people are, are gaining strength. It's like a tug of war between the, you know, the government over here, who is, is very powerful, the, the corporations, you know, they're all kind of in bed with one another over here, but then we have the people over here who are kind of being more awoken to the the misfortunes and and you know the kind of short end of the stick that they receive and they're getting more powerful the the, the tug and pull between the people and the government is is getting you know the, you know the people are getting more powerful in this situation you know they are and I, it's really like i see a lot of people behind the scenes scrambling like you know trying to, to keep the power and 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 on the other side um, the Seven of Cups, lots of temptations, um, a lot of people wanting to keep things for themselves, wanting to keep things for themselves, keep money for themselves, keep a lot of things for themselves, I hope. Good, you guys can still see the cars. A lot of people keeping things for themselves. People in the higher up, meaning like people, the 1%, basically, you know, wanting to really, they're very selfish. I have to say, they're very selfish people. <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, I feel like a lot of families are going to be tested during this time period. Um in terms of finance finances are going to be 
um, kind of a hurdle, a big thing during this time period, during the rest of 2017. I feel like a lot of changes are going to come on. So if there's anything I can tell you guys truly it's to really save your money and plan for, you know, save for a rainy day, um, really make sure your family is intact, really... You know, have keep you know, keep a tight family, a close knit family. I feel like we're coming into a time period where it's going to be really important that we have, you know, our family units. You know that we, um, you know, keep our family bonds tight. That we have a plan. You know, just in case. You know that we, you know, you know, you know, just just you know, um, ha have a plan and, and save your money. Six of wands a lot of fire the people are definitely gaining more strength during this time period i do have to say and i believe that i said the same thing in my donald trump reading it where it's like you know the people in power think that you know um they're going to be able to keep up this this control and kind of um um control that they have over society and the public in, in terms of their li how they live and you know um it's just like people are really really waking up to the truth of 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 the world that we live in and really the people are gaining more power the people are gaining more power i'm gonna pull more cards um well some cards are coming up in reverse the eight of wands in reverse I feel like there are going to be a lot of bill, bills being that will be pushed, try to be pushed through during this time period. I feel like a lot of them will be overturned, though. Um, believe it or not, there are some sane people <laughs> who are working on the people side and the um, in the government and in the legal system specifically, specifically in the legal system, the Supreme Court people who have the kind of like the final say there are some people who see what's going on see the the corruption going on around or around them and there's a lot of it you guys lots of corruption i'm seeing here but there are people in power who have the final say who are like nope nope like i'm who are like the fun the gatekeepers you know between the people and uh they're they're like uh, um the people and I guess in their fate in a way, but not their fate if that makes sense. The people, the people in their fate. I'm gonna to stick to that. The people in their fate. There are people in power who who have some type of moral compass. Okay. There aren't many of them, <laughs> but they 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 are there. Okay. Um, I feel like also there are some people who are in in the um, inner workings of the political system and such, and that there are people even in the political system waking up and being like, hey, like something isn't right. The Queen of Pentacles. There's someone in the political system who really wants to make a change, actually. I mean, someone in the legal system, someone in the political system or the legal system who really wants to make some changes. Um, him and his wife, Queen of Pentacles. He could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. She's a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. I feel like they're in they and they're in the Supreme Court, the justice system, the legal system, something like that. the world a happy ending things coming full circle king of swords now it's interesting because i did this reading before but the camera totally like i accidentally moved the tripod and the camera like crashed down so it's like oh my god I don't want to have to edit it in the middle, so I decided to just redo it. And these two cards popped out. Um, the first, these were the first cards that popped out. Actually, this card fell out. Um, so I do feel like the um, one of the things I said in that reading is that you know pe the people are going to start coming together, and it makes sense now because I really see you know that the tug and war between the people and the corporations and such is the pe the people are getting stronger. Um, the people meaning, you know, consumers, um, the poor, um, the middle class, 
uh, minorities, uh, including LGBT people. Um, like the people are are getting stronger. There's there's going to be more of a connection between the people. We're going to see, you know, the people who basically <laughs> don't um, the minorities. You know, um, like I said, the minorities in terms of race. You know, uh, LGBT, uh, the poor, the middle class, the working class. I'm not sure where the video cut off, you guys, but I'm seeing a lot of... I put a lot of cards by this point. Um, really what I'm seeing is just... There's so much going on behind the scenes, you guys, um, in terms of the, the, these corporations and the political, um, you know, situations going on. A lot of fighting, a lot of backbiting, a lot of, um, you know, different viewpoints trying to upkeep the systems, the up, upkeep the system, um... But it's just not coming together the way they, you know, the people behind the scenes thought. Meanwhile, you know, the, the, the world, the, the, the people, <laughs> you know, um, us, meaning us, you know, uh, we're, we're gaining more power. We're, we're waking up to what's going on. We are um, seeing past the BS and we are demanding answers. We're demanding respect. We're demanding are just do which which I love um I feel like we will see more riots and riots for different situations going on not just one specific situation um in the you know during this 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 period um I feel like there're going to be some new th new plans new new s things put in place that are really going to make people upset um once again I'm seeing a lot of people leaving the U.S. Now, well, I don't know if people are leaving the U.S. permanently or if they're leaving for just a certain time period, like a vacation. I see a lot of people leaving the U.S., a lot of people being tourists but outside of the U.S. I, and I actually see a drop in tourists coming to the U.S. Um, during this time period. Um, I feel like there's going to be a media frenzy in terms of political um, situations going on <laughs> and, you know, um, in politics, uh, the media is going to continue to have a field day with, you know, all this political propaganda that we're being fed, you know, on a daily basis. Um, but I just feel like, you know, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, you guys, and... Just save your money, keep your family close, and we're we're gonna make it through these next four years, okay? And I feel like, you know, a lot of what's happening right now is just going to, by the time this this, you know, administration is is over and out of the White House, a lot of this stuff is just gonna be like, you know, done with. It's like get get out of here, you know, like we, you know, we're done with the, the with with this mess. Like let let's start a fresh start afresh, you know, um, a lot of fear inciting, fear inducing, um, going on as well, um, of course being perpetuated by the media, so be wearful of that, be careful of that, um, I'm also seeing issues like a wedge trying to be put put between men and women, so I don't know what that means either, but I see a wedge trying to be put between men and women, whether this is by the media or, you know, whatever. Something about a wedge being put between men and women. So also be wary of that. Um, I'm trying to pick out what else I see. There are two prominent figures in the political system, in the justice system, that are trying to make some changes once again. A Scorpio, a water sign or an earth sign man, and uh, an earth sign woman. Um, I don't know who these two are. I'm not clearly not the best with politics, but I do. I'm seeing this very clearly. Um, women will also start to gain more power during this time period. Um, I feel like the family structure will also change as time goes on. And I'm not sure what that means either, but I feel like the family structure will change. Um, you know, the family structure meaning man and man, woman and children. Like, I don't know how that's going to change. Maybe um, we'll see more same-sex families happening or maybe just the heterosexual 
heteronormative, idealistic view of a family will change. Something like that. Um, like the nuclear family. It's almost like, it's like we're going to see that that evolve. The idea of that and the nuclear family or whatever. Um, the the idea of like a 90s family. It's it's not fitting the, the current time frame that we're in. So I feel like that's going to change. A lot of changes are going to be happening around us, you guys. And um, some of it is going to be, try, try to be <laughs> at least ushered in by... Um, the people in power, some of that is not, is, is gonna work, you know, go over smoothly, I guess. I feel like most of it's not. It's gonna be pushed back with some resistance by the people. Um, but then there are just gonna be some changes within the culture of the people. Because we have to understand that there's a cult, there's, there's two cultures, okay? There's, there's the culture of the people, and there's the culture of the people behind the scenes, the people in power. What I'm seeing is the peop the culture of the people is it's becoming more um together. It's coming together more. It it's 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 coming together more. It's it's um it's becoming more cohesive whereas the the, the people behind the scenes, the people in power power it's coming apart. It, it's 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 coming apart to be restructured, and that's almost like um, the period that the people went through. It's like it's 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 really weird. Um, but I hope you understand understood what I was saying and what I what I was trying to explain to you. Um, this is what I see for the rest of two thousand and seventeen. Nothing really specific stands out, just a, you know, a, a lot of continuation of what we're currently going through. Um, I feel like Donald Trump will continue to fire people, there will be, continue to be people in and out of the White House, um, you know, but that's just Donald Trump, you guys, you know, <laughs> he's just kind of not very loyal. Alright, you guys, so thank you so much for listening and watching. As always, please contact me for your own personal reading at lamartownsendtale.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. You can purchase your own personal reading at lamartownsendtale.com or purchase your birth chart reading at lamartownsendtale.com. Alright, you guys, I'm dropping the cards on this situation. Um, keep your families close. Alright. Um, you know, I feel like a new generation is, is, is being ushered in, okay? And it's going to be a beautiful thing. I think the people are going to be become more cohesive and more together, which is going to be a great thing. I'm so excited to see that. Um, whereas the prejudiced people, the bigots, the people in power, you know, the people who oppress others, those are the ones who are going to be on the other side and are going to have trouble with this, this kind of, um this change that's going to happen. All right. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I'll catch you next time. Okay. See you.